Hello guys, welcome back to my world of miniature wind turbines. I've been gone for a while and that's because I've been working on several projects, uh, including designing some new things just for the fun of it. Um, these are my new Robinson wind turbine blades. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them right now. They have aerodynamic lift. They are strong and lightweight. They start and operate at lower wind speeds because the entire blade is used for power. They are UV protected from the sun. They're real easy to make. You can teach a uh, sixth grader how to make them and that sixth grader can go on and teach adults how to do it. They're that simple. There's no AutoCAD needed, so I didn't have to use any of my computers to uh, uh, download software or buy software to uh, design these things. They won't make a big mess while you're building them, so you won't need a barn or anything like that. And uh, you won't have a lot of uh, wood to cut and sand because they're not made out of wood. The balance is built in as you make them. They're nice and quiet at higher RPMs, and you decide the pitch angle yourself. Finally, these six 18-inch blades cost less than $60. And if you hold on a second, I'm going to hook it up to my radio and let you see it uh, operate a 50-watt radio. Hang on. Okay, now she's connected and we are waiting for a little bit of wind because we're in an area where that's all we get, just a small amount of wind. But while we're waiting, I'm going to uh, show you the blades that I actually made for this unit to operate. I like using the, uh, the six blades for demonstration because uh, they want to start up at lower wind speeds. Now, here are the blades that uh, I actually made for that unit. And I'm, I'm going to show you the aerodynamic shape of uh, these blades right now. Okay, you can see that uh, here I've elected to give it lift on both sides of the blade. As the wind comes through, down and through, like this, then we have a high pressure on this side, a lower pressure on this side, which means that the air coming together here at the back of the blade becomes much smoother so that the next blade will come around into smooth air generating nearly the same amount of power. That's why you want lift on your blades. I did the same thing with these blades. And I can show you here, let me see. There they are. But there's a little more lift on the uh, back side of the blade than they are on the wind side of the blade. Here is an anemometer that I bought and according to this thing, which didn't cost a lot of money, um, I need a six mile an hour wind to play my radio. And there she's trying to start now. And uh, this is a v voltage device and watt meter. I saw this uh, previewed one day on uh, Jeff's site from Missouri Wind and Solar and the price I had to get one. Okay, here goes the radio now and I'll show you the wires going from the unit. to uh, the positive and negative connections on the back of the radio. Now I'm gonna wait again a little bit longer and see if we can get some more wind because uh, I want you to see these blades in action. There we go.
Now if you uh, come back to my next video, which won't be uh, very far from now, you're going to see some blades that I made that are just a little bit larger than these are. And those blades will be operating a NEMA 42 stepper motor. This unit is only running a NEMA 23. And I'm going to show you under the hood right now so you can see that that's all that there is operating this. It's a NEMA 23 stepper motor. Okay. Well, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you will leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these new blades. And uh, please subscribe. Now, my son and my wife both had a little bit of input into these blades. So I can't guarantee you that I'm going to uh, make videos showing you step by step how to uh, make your own blades. And uh, if I do, you'll see that you can make some very, very large blades, very, very large blades. And it's not that expensive at all. And I'd put these blades up against anybody's blades, anybody's. And I want to thank you again for coming back to see me. Take care, guys. Bye.